Today we're going to be looking at the trailer to Fallout from Prime Video. And yes, I've played a couple of those games even as a nuclear engineer. I've played Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Um, I've also tried 4, never really could get into that. Not even entirely sure why, but this should be interesting. Those of you who don't know me, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry. From engineering operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. Let's see what this is like. Hello there. I'm here to show you a wonderful place. A veritable Camelot, the nuclear age. Not made by God Almighty, but the working man. <laughs> oh, this looks so, it's very colorful. And that's one of the things that always fascinated me about Fallout. And I know it's based in what if the glorious atomic world of tomorrow was actually the reality that that vision of the future that was in the 1950s extended all the way well up into the 21st century you can be a hero by purchasing a residence in a vault tech vault today the because vault. if the worst should happen tomorrow the world is going to need you to build a better day after all right so we have Oh, it looks like they got a scene with the Ferris wheel. Clearly a nod to the Ferris wheel shown in Pripyat. Not aware of this location in any of the games, but I haven't played all the games, so please let me know if I missed some. The mission of the vaults should be important to everyone. Even though it's live action, it all... The people look almost kind of cartoony. I think it's some of the filters they're putting on that are something. off to the surface one day and restart civilization. Can you tell me what's happened in the last 200 years? Holy shit. You're an actual vault dweller. Damn. <laughs> I thought all you... <laughs> of course, you gotta show the typical crazy people. Shits were dead. <laughs> A Westworld. Interesting. is insane. I don't... Set the world. It isn't like the vault out there. It's big. So interesting set in post-apocalyptic LA this time. I don't think I've seen that in the game setting. Oh, the people, the, the ghouls, the uh, deformed people. Note, um, yeah, no matter how much nuclear radiation dose you absorb, that that's not going to happen to you. You're not going to become this uh, being that is all that radiation makes you stronger and it deforms you, but it gives you life or superpowers. No, unfortunately, it's either going to give you an increased cancer risk or the horrible symptoms of acute radiation poison. I had a rough week. And practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill me. I'm oh, the floating Mr. Handies. <laughs> You need to go home. You come from a world of rules, of laws. Everything in that vault looked like it was made out of Lego or something. That's, that's pretty silly. You should not be alone. Why did you do brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me. People are going to come after you. Ain't much stage clean up here, Vaulty. I got a lot of it's basically like the Old West with a bunch of scavenged materials, improvised weapons and all that. Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. Really? Being irradiated in this magical irradiated creature that you see here, it's... I mean, I guess it could affect your resistance to drugs and that forget if the story if they're like necrotic or something so their bloodstream isn't even functioning normally so yeah you can't exactly have drugs travel to the brain or whatever part of the body they might affect if everything shut down so there might be some consistency there look out at this wasteland 
looks like chaos. That looks cool. That old powered armor suit thing. I mean, I remember those were like some of the best weapons in the game, but that Brotherhood of Steel faction was all like super protective of the technology, but they were just hoarders. They weren't real like engineers or even necessarily that adept at knowing how the technology works. They just want to hoard it, which is interesting. But anyway, okay, they're showing them fighting the, uh, that looks like the New California Republic flag, which I remember that taking place in New Vegas. So that's cool. But there's always somebody behind the wheel. <laughs> Nuclear explosion in the background, guy just casually strolling and, you know, carrying someone. Yeah. <laughs> Might want to at least, if you see something like that, at least hit the dirt, just so whatever shrapnel, potentially contaminated shrapnel that's coming your way minimizes its chance of hitting you. Whoa. <laughs> I don't remember that thing. <laughs> In the game. So, I feel like I need to say this too, nuclear, even absurdly high doses of radiation that you would get in this universe, because the doses in Fallout are super high, even after a realistic nuclear war, because a lot of it was deliberate. They used a lot of uh, surface detonations that were relatively low yield, but to maximize the amount of contamination. It's still not going to give you monsters. Now, I know some of that is the... Uh, a combination of that plus the forced evolutionary virus, but again, the, the ghoul creatures, they were never stated, at least in any of the games that I played, to be from anything but radiation, so that, that right there is not really a thing, but it is cool seeing this in TV show format. If everyone wants to save the world, they just, they just agree on how. And then after the end, I guess maybe rebuild the world or something like that. There you are, you little killer. It looks exciting. I wonder if we're going to get to see them use stuff like Rad X and Rad Away. Rad X could be somewhat similar to potassium iodine tablets, though. In the game, they protect you against all forms of radiation, whereas this would just protect you against iodine-131 specifically, which can be given by the emergency director in the event of a radioactive release dose emergency. Still wouldn't, wouldn't recommend taking it unless you absolutely had to. They'll, uh, they'll make you miserable. They'll make you throw up. <laughs> but as far as that rad away stuff, it looks like some sort of infusion I wonder if they're going to incorporate either of those in the game. I'm, those items from the game into the into the series. or Because that's always been something that was a bit of a curious device that doesn't really have any parallel to, uh, to real life. But this could be interesting. I also wonder if we're going to get to see any of those fat man shoulder launched uh, nuclear weapons. <laughs> that always explode into a teeny little mushroom cloud regardless of the yield of the device. But I really enjoyed playing those games back in the day, and this should be an interesting series. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.